Beyond Disaster House. We're looking at the creepy, crawly problems that come up when the sun goes down. Oh, what? First, we got bats in our belfry. That guy buzzed my tower the entire time. We'll show you the problems with bats living in your attic and the right way to get rid of them. And then we set bed bugs loose in our bedroom. Our expert explains the how and why of bed bug infestations, and we show you the foolproof fix to kill them dead. An abandoned house, infested and marked for demolition. This is the perfect place to simulate disasters. Oh, God. I'm going to show you how to prevent this from ever happening to your home. And if it does, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Oh. This is Disaster House. There are all kinds of different creatures that would love to move into your house and make it their home. And that warm, quiet attic is the perfect magnet for these kind of creatures to hang out. Now, this is Disaster House, so we're not going to go for the best case scenario. We're going to go for the worst case scenario. Bats. Bats live in all 50 states, and the experts say no house is immune to an infestation. Just ask Chris Bilpin of Marshall, Minnesota. We live in a really old house. It's a late 1800s home. We decided to remodel the upstairs, and when we stuck our head up into the attic, lo and behold, there was hundreds of bats. Literally up 500 adults, babies, everything in between. It was scary to me. I noticed one-foot mounds of the bat guano or the feces just sprawled all across the entire attic. I'm a do-it-yourself kind of guy, but I knew this was not something that we could handle. Professional exterminators came in and relocated the bats, cleaned out 50 industrial-sized garbage bags of bat droppings, and fixed the hole in the roof line where the bats were flying in and out. It cost us about $9,000 to $10,000 from start to finish. It was worth every penny to have them come out and take care of this job for me. We haven't had any bats since. Look, there's no doubt about it, bats are creepy. But if you've got them living in your attic, it's more than just the ick factor that you gotta worry about. When you got bats, you got poop. It's called guano, and it can do serious damage up there. Not only that, the stuff is toxic. It can cause blindness and even death. You worried yet? Well, then let's talk to an expert. Eric Brady makes his living getting rid of nuisance wildlife in people's homes. That is a real bat right there. That is a real bat. What kind of bat is that? This is a little brown bat, very small. You Why? want to hold it? No, I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm oh. good. Okay. <laughs> All right, so why the attic? It's just like a tree. You know, it's a hollow cavity. They don't really know that it's an attic. We think of it as an attic, but they think of it as a hollow tree. It's a place that they have egress, and um, depending on how the sun hits, they can stay to their desired temperatures. One little bat like this isn't going to do much damage. But bats live in groups called colonies, and the colony always hangs in the exact same spot in the attic. The problem is the whole colony's poop piles up in just one place. And your insulation pays the price. 